John, it's been a busy couple of days again. Obviously, Josh O'Connor's coming in on loan from Hibbs, young striker. What what are we hoping that he's going to bring? Yeah, I think he's a little bit different to what we have. He has real pace up top, and he likes to play on the shoulder and run behind. So, um, so yeah, I think he'll give us that that threat in behind, um, and he can play anywhere across the front three as well, which is which is a real positive. I think it was important to try and add. Um, to that attack and threat as well. So he's he's been out and loan before, which is important, um, and it gives us a good chance to look at him. And then potentially, if everything goes well, we could maybe do something in January. So, um, so yeah, no, delighted to get him in on loan initially and see see how that goes. You say he's had experience, full full season under his belt with Airdrie on loan last year, and I think he won a trophy there and got helped into the playoffs. So he's he's coming yeah. in with, with plenty of experience. Yeah, and a good level as well. I think uh, Scottish Championship is a mm. is a tough level, so he's come up against some good teams and tough defenders. So hopefully that's uh, stood him in good stead going forward, and you know you can then build on that here. Obviously, Cammy Elliott going back to East Kilbride on Thursday night. This sort of a like for like now. You've one in, one out. Yeah, well, I think it was, that's well, it's important to get Josh in. I knew for a, a few weeks now that Cammy was looking to go home and go back. I think. You know what people probably don't see is mm. the off the field stuff, and he was struggling a bit, and um, needed to get home for personal personal reasons, etc. So um, I think it was important to try and facilitate that for him. Um, he's a great guy and great great lad, and gave a hundred percent every time he played. He probably would have liked to have scored more goals, but I think every time he went on the pitch, he gave everything, and I think that was appreciated by mm. you know not only myself and the players, but by, by the fans as well. And you can you can see that from the reaction he's probably had with him going I think um, you know big likeable guy and I hope it works out for him back at East Kilbride he had a successful time there previously and I've no doubt he'll he'll do that again you've been you've been asked about a striker I think for the last since the windows opened you said you've, you've gone close a couple of times are you relieved even just to get one in because it must be a difficult position to, to try and to try and fill it this time of the season no it is it's tough there's obviously um, a few names that get put to you and We've obviously gone after a couple that we've missed out on, and that's not necessarily down to anything other than, um, you know, the player maybe having a change of heart or, or something else coming up for them. So, um, you know, it is difficult. Mm. Obviously, the league position is tough as well when you look at what you're, you're trying to do business. I think um, you know players look at that and they probably don't get the chance to see what we have in here prior to coming in, and you know they don't see the belief that we have that we can get ourselves out of the trouble we're in and. Um, so it is it is difficult to like it to obviously get Josh in. He's really really keen to come in. I think he was really um, enthusiastic about the move, which is important as well. And um, hopefully he can hit the ground running for us and you know try and open his account as quickly as possible and you know give everything the very least similar to what Cammy did. Mm. You know give 110 percent every time he go on the pitch. And obviously if the goals come, then then that's great. Yeah, obviously daily meant tomorrow night Bohemians in in the league, the cup, we're out of the cup, which is. Disappointing, I think, for everybody, but in one sense, it leaves us now with a clear, clear focus on what we need to do. 12 league games remaining to get ourselves out of this. Yeah, obviously, you know, Cup is disappointing to go out in the manner we did. We were obviously extremely disappointed. We felt we we let one slip in, in our performance anyway. I think it's probably um, it's probably one you can take a little bit more if you've been outplayed or, um, you know, you, you've come up against a side that have, have been miles better than you. I think. You know, we're obviously disappointed with the, the manner of the goals we conceded and the way we went out and it's something that we need to we need to live with and we need to obviously try and put to the back of our mind as quickly as possible because it gives us now a focus on the league, as you said, to to really focus on, you know, chasing them teams down above us and to try and close that gap and um to try and get ourselves back within striking distance of the teams that are right above us. You look at the you look at the table, it's 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 been a game I think we've been looking at for a while that if we can go to Daily Mid within reach of bows and, and get something if, if we went up there tomorrow night it brings them right back into it of course it does yeah they obviously have games in hand mm. um, you know so that's that's something that if even if they were to you know lose tomorrow they'd still be looking at them games in hand but I think um, from our point of view it's it's important that we go and try and close the gap and try and put in a level of performance that we can come away from the game regardless of the result you know with confidence and um, you know, look at the, the teams above us. As I said, I think um, this is our last game in hand over Pat, so it's important we try and get points from the game to, to close the gap on them. Also, with them being in Europe, so um, yeah, it's obviously a, a difficult fixture. They had a fantastic result mm. last week 
against Rovers, um, so they'll be buying from that. And it's important that we we start the game fast and we start at a good tempo and we try and implement our game on them. They're, it's sort of similar to us. They've signed. They've signed a lot of. There's been a lot of sort of turnover mid-season. What is it hard to get a get a read in them? What 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 they expect from them tomorrow? Night? Um, well, they've signed players. Um, a lot of players that kind of have been in the mm. league before, and players that I probably know from you know watching the Scottish leagues and being involved with Scottish leagues, and um, so I have a good kind of understanding of what they brought in, and um, they've brought some good quality in. So they've certainly strengthened their squad, and they've plenty of competition, especially in that midfield area. They've got plenty of competition for places in there now. So. Um, so yeah, look, it's it's going to be a tough game, but similar to ourselves, as you said, there's going to be a lot of new relationships forming and a lot of players still getting used to playing with each other, and um, you know, so that's that's kind of something that we'll be looking to try and you know get on top of if we can. Yeah. Finally, as you said after the game on Friday, you've alluded to there. You just want a response from from last Friday. It can't be anywhere near the the performance we put in at Weavers Park last week. It has to be a lot better tomorrow. Night. 100%, yeah. There's no uh, shying away from that. I think um, it's important that we we implement our game and we have a clear plan on what we're looking to do. It's important we stick to that and we give ourselves the best chance to, to come out with three points. As we're all aware it's a, it's a huge game for us and um, if we can come away with three points, it, it really puts pressure on the teams above us. And I think you know nobody probably outside of our change room expects us to get out of where we're at. Um, you know, so if we can apply a little bit of pressure to the teams above us, then it just asks a little question of them. And you know, if we manage to get above one of them or two of them, then then that's a fantastic job by us, and um, that's obviously the plan.